www.udo.de Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo VR. Today we will talk about the upcoming XR headset by Apple or as it likely will be called Apple Reality Pro. So uh, I searched the whole internet and found uh, a lot of rumors uh, but uh, only rumors from uh, very important people from the VR com and AR community that have a lot of uh, stuff in common with Apple. So the most most of the rumors could be true yeah so uh, we will we will compare that to the metacrest pro the big screen beyond and the pimax crystal headset so let's just go through the different uh, points here like uh, the display so for the big screen beyond and apple reality pro we have a micro oled display instead of uh, metacrest pro and uh, pimax crystal having led displays so an OLED display has an advantage. It has very good black levels and also very good colors. And a micro OLED display makes the headset very, very small. I tried that with the big screen beyond. So I'm happy that the Apple Reality Pro will also have this technology. Then for the IPD adjustment, um, um, the Apple Reality Pro has auto IPD. So that me measures your uh, interpopular distance with the um, eye tracking and then it has a motor inside and that puts the lenses in the correct position. The same with the Pimax Crystal. The Big Screen Beyond has static IPD because every uh, headset is individual for you. And then um, the MetaQuest Pro has a guided manual adjustment. The IPD range of the Apple Reality Pro is, uh, there are no rumors uh, yet, but I'm pretty sure as they have uh, auto IPD adjustment. It will likely have something between, I would say 57 and 72 or something at least. So the biggest range should be covered by that. Let's talk about the field of view. So if, if this is true, that the Apple Reality Pro has a horizontal field of view of 120 degree, that would be really, really huge and good. I mean, the Pimax Crystal has a really good field of view with 110 uh, horizontal. And uh, the Apple headset could have even more and that would be great. Of course, it's, it's not as big as, for example, the 140 um, degree of the Pimax 8KX, but 120 would be a really good field of view. Hopefully, um, they can do that. Uh, so the Big Screen Beyond and the MetaQuest Pro has a, have a smaller field of view then. Then, when we come to the resolution, <laughs> Apple seems to be the, the king by far, if this is true. So they say the um, resolution of the headset will be 4K per eye. That's 4000 by 4000 pixels per eye. This is insane. You will definitely not see a pixel. Uh, it's crazy. Look at, I mean, I have the Pimax Crystal here. It, ha it has a very good display. You don't see any pixels and it only has 2880 by 2880. That's crazy. Even the big screen beyond has a good display. But this is crazy. This is crazy. Then I found some uh, pixel per degree values. Um, they have something in common with the um, size of the display and the lenses and all this stuff. And um, yeah, with the Pimax Crystal, you can even have uh, 42 pixel per degree with an optional um, set of uh, lenses. And uh, yeah, the Apple Reality Pro seems to have like 33. Um, the refresh rate, um, this I, I don't think the rumor is correct here. 120 hertz would be not enough for such an expensive headset. I think it will be more, but we will see. We will see, um, but I think 120 hertz would, would still be okay and more than most headsets have. There is nothing known about the lenses, unfortunately, with the Apple Reality Pro, um, but I'm sure they will also have the newer pancake optics or perhaps custom pancake optics by Apple themselves because pancake optic optics make the headset smaller. You can see that with the big screen beyond, for example, and the MetaQuest Pro, they are very small. Also the Pico 4 has pancake optics. Uh, let's talk about the brightness. And, and if this is true, this is absolutely crazy. The, uh, 
So the brightness is measured in so-called nits. And uh, if this is true and the Apple Reality Pro has over 5,000 nits, that would be so awesome. Because when you have a micro OLED display together with pancake optics, then the display is likely very dark and um, not bright enough in some cases. And this year would cause uh, a perfect brightness. So we will see if that is true. We will see. Um, the chipsets, so um, the Pimax Crystal and the MetaQuest Pro has the XR2 Plus or XR2 processors. The big screen beyond doesn't have any processor because it's uh, um, uh, on PC. And the Apple Reality Pro has the um, Apple M2 processor, then another image signals uh, processor and another processor that combines them two. So it could be that they call the whole package of the processors reality processor. We will see. This is a rumor and um, the M2 processor will be a lot faster than the XR2 processor. Um, that could be uh, really awesome. Then pass through. So. Um, pass through is what you see uh, in mixed reality view or augmented reality view when you look through the headset in your real environment and as it seems the Apple Reality Pro has a color pa pass through with ultra high resolution so you will likely see your normal um, area uh, without pixels or, or any stuff. So the MetaQuest Pro and the Pimax Crystal also have color pass through, but it's uh, not a very good quality, to be honest. The Big Screen Beyond doesn't have anything because it's so light. They just put everything on the smallest and lightest headset. <laughs> and the Apple Reality Pro also has a LiDAR depth sensor. That means the pass through is even in 3D and can measure your environment. That's pretty awesome. Also, when we talk about the tracking, so as it seems, the Apple Reality Pro has all the trackings. It has eye tracking, it has face tracking, hand tracking, and even leg tracking. So it seems your whole body is tracked with only the headset, and that's crazy. I mean, the MetaQuest Pro also has that stuff, but uh, no leg tracking. The Big Screen Beyond doesn't have anything of that, and um, the Pimax Crystal at least has eye tracking. And the tracking of the headset, uh, itself is uh, with camera. So the Apple Reality Pro uh, has rumored over a dozen of um, cameras. That's crazy. So uh, it will be tracked very, very good. Also, the MetaQuest Pro and the Pimax Crystal are tracked with cameras, but not so much. Uh, and not so many cameras uh, included. The Big Screen Beyond has the STBR Lighthouse tracking. That's the best tracking system but it needs the base stations. Um, let, when we talk about controllers, so the rumors say that the Apple Reality Pro has no controllers. It's completely controlled via um, eye tracking, hand tracking, and the rumor also says there is a thumb device that you put on your thumb and you can control it. But I, I don't believe that. I think it's just uh, controlled via hand tracking and, and head tracking and, and something like that. All the other headsets have uh, controllers or optional hand tracking. We will see. That's uh, very, very interesting. Um, so the, the um, speakers uh, in, in all the headsets are built in, except for the big screen beyond. You can buy an uh, optional audio strap. I'm pretty sure with the Apple Reality Pro, they will have a good sound. Everything else doesn't make sense with such an expensive Headset. <laughs> um, the battery. So with the MetaQuest Pro and the Pimax Crystal, it's built in. Yeah, the Big Screen Beyond doesn't have a battery because it's connected to PC. And the Apple Reality Pro does have likely a battery pack that you put on your belt with a cable. Yeah, so the headset can be lighter. I'm not sure if that's a good idea because. Uh, there was the, the same was with the um, uh, other augmented reality headsets that I tried, um, but I, it, it could be disturbing the cable, yeah, you know, on, on your belt and stuff. We will see. And the battery life in hours is um, two, two hours with all the headsets besides the Big Screen Beyond is connected to PC has unlimited battery life. 
And uh, yeah, two hours could be fine. I, I think that's fine. Um, you can. I, I'm pretty sure you can charge it while um, playing or using. Um, when we talk about the cable, the big screen beyond and the crystal has five meter cables. And of course the Apple reality is wireless. It doesn't have any cable besides the cable to your battery, uh, but that's not going to a um, PC or, or anything. Uh, the operating system. So the MetaQuest Pro and the Pimax Crystal have the Android system. The Big Screen Beyond doesn't have any because it's connected to PC. And the Apple Reality Pro has likely the X, the so-called XROS. Yeah. Um, th this is, uh, of course, made by Apple and uh, will likely look the same as on your iPad or so. And when we talk about the content, um, the Apple Reality Pro will have optimized iPad apps. Yeah, for example, they will have Safari and the Apple Calendar and stuff uh, with, uh, optimized for your VR headset or even uh, augmented reality so that you can put it on your or pin it to your real wall or something like that. And uh, all the other headsets have the CVR content uh, by uh, for PC VR and also a Meta standalone store or the Pimax standalone store. PC requirements, the Apple Reality Pro is a standalone headset, uh, so you don't need any PC, but perhaps it can be connected to a, a MacBook Pro or, 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 or something like that. I don't know, uh, but uh, in first line, it's a standalone headset, the same like the Meta Chris Pro, but you can optional connect it to PC. And here are the requirements for the Big Screen Beyond and the Pimax Crystal. And when we talk about the weight, so as the Apple Reality Pro has this um, belt uh, battery pack, it's, it's uh, pretty um, low weight for the head strap with only 300 to 400 grams, including the strap. That's not much. But of course, in this category, the Big Screen Beyond wins because it's the smallest and lightest headset ever. It's only 155 gram. But compared to the MetaQuest Pro and the Primax Crystal, the Apple Reality Pro is only half of the weight. That's really good. Uh, other things uh, for the Apple Reality Pro, uh, it could have an external display uh, at the front. So that shows your real eyes because the headset has the um, eye tracking with integrated cameras and they film your uh, eyes and then it could be projected on the um, external display. But I, I'm not sure if this rumor is true. That would likely look very, very strange. <laughs> and then the price, of course, we all expected that the Apple Reality Heads, uh, Pro headset is by far the most expensive one with rumored around $3,000. Holy shit. And they don't even have controllers. So we, we will see. <coughs> the MetaQuest Pro is uh, 1000 bucks with controllers the big screen beyond also 1000 but you have to buy the controllers and the base stations and the Pimax crystal is 1600 with the controllers included um so that's everything i found about the apple reality pro so i'm pretty sure if most of that is true especially the resolution we will have a really interesting high-end headset um but I'm still curious about what, what the content is. Because they also said um, they have games. They are focused uh, a little bit on games. So they need some games in the, in the store. But you cannot control it with controllers, but only with your hands and your body. It's a very interesting thing. So um, yeah, everything will be announced on uh, June 5th, 2023. As it seems, they will uh, show it on the uh, um, WWDC 23 Worldwide Developer Conference. And yeah, so as soon as I have this headset at home, I will do a review and uh, I, I hope that will be great. So are you interested in the Apple Reality Pro? Will you buy it? Write it in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.